Hey guys, what is going on? Georgia Regen here. So in this simple video, I'm going to be showing you basically how to get live chat over your live stream for Twitch or for YouTube using OBS. This is so much simpler than people believe it is. So all you're simply going to do is obviously I have my old screen here, but for this example, I'm going to open a new screen. And before you do anything on OBS, go on YouTube and simply search Streamlabs. Now after you search Streamlabs, just click on the top one there and it's going to ask you to log in. So log in through, uh, there should be a menu that pops up if you're not already signed in. So sign into your main YouTube channel, the one you're going to be using for the live stream or your Twitch channel. I stream on YouTube so that's what my preference is and that's what I'm going to do. So from there you're going to go to the side and you're going to click on chat box. Now on chat box before you copy the link. What you want to do is modify everything involving your chat, okay? So from here, you want to change the theme of your text. You can change it to this one, which is like the very clean one. The normal one people use is the Twitch one. It drags it to the left so everything's aligned up. But there's also like old school. This is like kind of like an old retro one, which is kind of cool. I personally use Twitch, but you can use any, uh, any font here that you like. There's box. Box is also very cool. I don't mind that one at all. It also drags it to the left, which is very cool. So for my case, I'm going to use Twitch. Um, you want to show moderator badge and show subscriber badges. It's all personal preference. This is all personal modification. You can do whatever you like to this. Now, for the text color, you can do whatever you like. But for the background color, I personally set it. You can legit like uh, use that number and like type it down. But I just use a green color because that's what made it transparent for me. So if you select that color green, it should make it transparent for you as well. Um, just to let you know, font size, you can do anything you like. But this is a big one here. So hide messages after. So if you're a bigger streamer and you get frequent notifications, I would recommend you doing roughly 15 to 20 seconds for hide message. Now, if you're a smaller streamer, someone like myself, I would recommend doing in between, um, I'd say about 35 seconds, and I'd say about 40 seconds to a minute. I do 50 seconds, but you could do uh, 35 to 40 seconds to a minute. That's somewhere around there, I would say is good. I do 50 seconds, it's totally your preference or your call. All of this stuff doesn't really matter too much. Afterwards, you're gonna wanna press the save button down there, and after you save, you're going to want to go up here and copy this or you can press the copy link there and then go back into OBS. So once you're back in OBS, you're going to want to press the start button. You want to go to a browser source, name it chat box so you know what it is. And then from there, you want to insert the URL from Streamlabs. Now as you can see there's just a blank screen because you don't have any chat but it is transparent because it's black you can see right through it and I'll give you an example shortly. Now from here you're going to want to double click the chat box and then it's going to show the sizes and all that. You could run for width, you could probably run uh, probably say about 500 and the height on 600 we can keep it like that for now. And we'll see once we have text popping up later. I don't have a background video for you to reference off of. But here, for example, when you go onto your YouTube channel. Go to Creator Studio. Go to Live Streaming. And here's the live chat here. So we're gonna do test, test, test. We're gonna copy that so we can send a couple more. There we go. So as you can see there, the live chat is popping up. Test, 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 test. Now what you wanna do is you wanna try to crop it a width and height, a width and height that you rec uh, that you personally like enjoy yourself so for this it is all personal preference I can't help you on where you want it and the height and all that but as you can see it did pop up and it did work so we'll do it again 
just to show you. So there's all your live chat popping up on your OBS and it will be recorded on top of your screen for your live streams. Hopefully this video did help you out. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more future content. And like always guys, this is Regena George signing out. Peace.